Alright guys, so we are at Alpha Land and I'm in the posing room. Just what, day or two after I got the flu? Boom! Look at the mirror, look at that. So that's what the flu did for me guys. It knocked off a couple pounds of fat, but it also knocked off some muscle as well. So I'm here, because this is all I know. I gotta train. It doesn't matter if I'm sick. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what's going on in life. This is my work. This is my job, and I gotta keep it pushing. So, oh, I did lose a couple pounds of muscle, but more so fat. So, in a way, this kind of just pushed my progress forward a little bit more to get me to the place where I need to be. Well, where I want to be. Um, we don't need to have our physiques be anything. We don't want them to be. We push our physique because we want it to be in the place we want it to be because we're trying to obtain a certain type of happiness, a certain type of quality to our life, whether it be for a career or for a hobby or a passion or just to stay healthy. So. You know, it doesn't matter, like I said, it doesn't matter if you get sick, it doesn't matter if you get the flu. Obviously you wanna get better and you wanna heal, but this is part of the process. This is part of how you get better. I had the flu for four days and I thought I was gonna die. Two days ago I literally was on my deathbed. Now I'm here in the gym. Well, I don't know why, because I'm obsessed with being better. I'm obsessed with becoming the best version of myself. And this is just one of the ways I know how to do it. Uh, it's kind of funny being in this room because I've never really been, uh, never really went into a posing room before. And I never really had enough muscle to display to uh, even make sense coming in here in this room and doing this. So, but it feels good, looking good, and uh, not as much to say these days. I'm always going to have something to say to the people and my people, but. Let's get after it and keep working. hotel room I haven't even showed you guys this yet there's nice TV you got a table a lamp another table chair ottoman king size bed uh, places to put my uh, luggage on a couch a chair another chair coffee table another coffee table speaking of this couch fuck yo couch fool I don't even know why I did that. I've always wanted to do that and just put it on a YouTube video. I guess I just simply don't give a shit anymore what anybody thinks or what I say. And I just was like, oh, jump on this shit. Some lights aren't working in here, which isn't really cool. But my own coffee center, my own sink, my own fridge. Freaking light doesn't work, man. I wonder why I got this place so cheap. <laughs> oh. Bathroom, nice and clean. Tip the maid good. Housekeeper good. Hey. So yeah, this is where I've been hold, held up, hold up for over a week now. And I was literally Thursday or Friday, guys, I would have been moved into my damn apartment, but I got sick. So when they needed me to furnish information, I kid you not, I was so, I felt so shitty that literally me doing anything on my phone was pretty much out of the question. I'm so glad people didn't really need me that much during those days because it was really messed up. Um, 
So yeah, I just wanted to film a little quick short video to give an update on where I am because the last thing people saw was that I was in Atlanta on YouTube. Uh, I would like to think that everybody that watches me on YouTube watches my Instagram, but maybe not. Instagram is what I use the most. It is where I got my start. I don't have a tick. Well, I do have a TikTok, but I don't. Even, I think I got like a hundred followers or something. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna have to really like start getting in the mix here, making consistent YouTube videos with a videographer. Once I can finally get situated. And luckily, being here in Texas, uh, the industry is very, very, very. Um, it's very active here. So between here, Austin, and uh, Dallas. Tons to do. Tons of people that can work for me or that I can work with. And, uh, yeah, I do think for Instagram going forward, I'm going to start adding one or two videos a week. I'm not for sure yet, but I'm going to start adding some videos where I'm adding value and leadership skills, motivational, inspiring people, you know, because I have had so many opt obstacles in my life, guys, like no college education, no nothing standing out on paper that really separates me from some guy that graduated from college getting a job. Like the only thing that separates me is my look and my confidence. I have more confidence than you schmucks that went to school for six or eight years. Trust me, I know I do. Maybe some of you doctors are pretty confident, but you get so hyper focused when you go to school. You get so hyper focused on one subject, and that's what you're getting paid for for the rest of your life. So sometimes, if you don't have common sense, or the ability to be open and to be humble, or have experience, and to have failed many times in your life, going through something really rough, I almost don't even trust a man that hasn't been through something rough in his life. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just just a different life. Just speaking to you guys. I don't know. I'm a weird-ass white dude from upstate New York. There is literally not a single white dude from my hometown that's exactly like me or even close to being like me. And that's a good thing because you don't want to be like anybody else. You don't want to try to be like anybody else. Uh, and you don't want to shut anybody down from saying they like you and look up to you as a role model. Uh, you can always look up to somebody and get ideals and motivation from them and then to put your own personality and your own parts into everything that you're doing so hopefully we get set up here and situated this week if something falls through i'll be going back to new york or something i don't know i'm gonna be successful no matter where i am and what i do so i really appreciate you guys watching the channel and um i hope you guys stay tuned and i promise there will be more on the way